Hi guys, it's time for another Snooze review here at Stiff Upper Lip with me, Andreas, in collaboration with Snooze24. Uh, today I'm excited, um, although tired, but I really want to open this one. Uh, just arrived, General Macmyra original portion. I've also got the loose version. Uh, so these are two new releases from Swedish Match to celebrate the general uh, anniversary, 150th anniversary. And it's the first time that uh, Swedish Match has collaborated with uh, a whiskey manufacturer. And it's a Swedish manufacturer of single malt whiskey called Macmyra. Uh, Macmyra started up in 1999 and they're making uh, several different whiskies, one of them being Svensk Ek, Swedish Oak. And that's the one that's inspired this one. They also have like uh, Swedish Rök, which is uh, Swedish uh, smoke and Bruks whiskey and some other ones. So this should be really exciting. Uh, they've made, uh, Swedish Match has made one whiskey snooze uh, earlier. It's called Probe. I've never actually tried Probe, but I hear it's more like a, a bourbon style whiskey, not a single malt, a bit sweeter. Uh, I might have tried it. I remember actually, uh, it was released back in 1994. And I remember being back at a party uh, around that time and uh, a friend's dad was there and he was promoting this newly released uh, snooze which was Probe and he had like caps and everything that had Probe on it. I, I do remember that so I might have tried it then, I'm not quite sure. That would be back in 1994, a long time ago. So, so this one is the first uh, sort of collaboration with a, a whiskey manufacturer from Swedish Match. Uh, I haven't uh, yet received the uh, Cardus, uh, the Crafted Cardus uh, by Connie Andersson. Uh, that's coming soon, so I will, I will review that later. But first, General Macmyra and the Lös version as well. Uh, when it comes to the numbers in this one, it's, it's a little bit strange. Um, the portions are pretty big. They're 1.09 gram portions. Uh, we got 22 portions in this one. Uh, but because they're so big, the, the total is still 24 grams in this one, so it's a full can. Um, when it comes to nicotine, also a little bit strange. I think it comes to something like 10.35 milligrams per portion. Uh, big portion, so I think it's 9.5 milligrams per gram there. So 22 portions, uh, a little bit stronger than uh, your normal strength. Um, and. The catch lid is a large one. Let's get into it. Can't wait. Oh, should I show you the can first? Why not? Uh, here it says it's uh, Master Master Blenders. I think it's Lars Jonsson and mm, Matthias something. Uh, I'll look that up for you. Can't read it there. Uh, so you got that sort of woody uh, print on it look quite robust so you should uh, combine the taste of uh, general which is quite robust with a bit of uh, cedar and whiskey potentially a little bit of fruitiness as well here we go these look well get the smell already these look pretty moist full big portions uh, Looking a little bit <coughs> coming to one side there, I must say. Let's see if <coughs> they're all like that, sorry. Yeah, a little bit sort of uh, random in here. Quite sort of handmade look to them. They are pretty moist. Uh, just work on them a little bit, I think. And in it goes. Okay. Yeah, so, ooh. That's bold of the whiskey. If you're a whiskey lover, you will love this smell. This is it's interesting how moist they are as well. They're really moist to get that. I mean, they're not going for a mellow snooze here, I think. Pretty full on with both the tobacco and the whiskey. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is premium for sure. Really clear of the, of the single malt whiskey. Nice. So I'll get right back to you when I've enjoyed the whole can. Lars Jonsson and Matthias Skyberg are the master blenders of this one. 
Uh, it's quite sad, the last one. I've really been enjoying this one. And I said before, I'm not a whiskey drinker, so I'm not an expert on single malt whiskey, but I would rather use this than drink whiskey, I think. I think this is really nice. The portions uh, are really silky and kind of have like a shine, silky shine to them when you look at it as well. They're quite big portions, but uh, for some reason it doesn't feel too big for me. And I find this interesting. It says here, as I said, it's got 1.09 grams and 9.5 milligrams per gram of nicotine. Uh, when this was pre-released, they, they sold uh, this one initially in the Swedish match stores in uh, Stockholm, Gothenburg and possibly Malmö as well. And then I believe it was uh, 8.5 uh, milligrams per gram and one gram portion. So they've actually changed it since then for the official release date. F found that interesting. So these are bigger and with more nicotine in them. Speaking of the general, uh, so, sorry, the Swedish match store, uh, my friend Frederick, who's the admin for Stip, uh, Stiff Upper Lips uh, Facebook page, he is uh, today in Gothenburg and he's been visiting the uh, Swedish match store there. Hopefully we get some footage to put on the channel here uh, very soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I, I was out uh, using this yesterday. It is a little bit stronger than usual. My, my nicotine tolerance is through the roof, but um, I <coughs> gave this to a friend to try who's a whiskey drinker so like the smell of it so he tried it and he doesn't use any nicotine uh, and what I normally would say is if you if, if you don't use nicotine at all three to five minutes is what you should have a snooze in I keep it in for an hour but um, he kept it in for probably seven minutes and then he started sort of clutching his glass a little bit and it was on the verge of having to leave the pub so I think it has a bit of nicotine in it uh, later on he tried a Göteborg therapy and he felt more comfortable with that one. So yeah, it does have a bit of nicotine in it. Um, so it's a really nice collaboration with Macmira. Interestingly enough, Macmira also made um, a whiskey they called um, Motorhead. Like Swedish Match has made a Motorhead snooze. So you see the, the connection there as well. Motorhead's getting a lot of uh, exposure through, through these companies. Um, so taste-wise, it lasts a long time. It's it's a smack in the face, it's bold, it's got a lot of taste uh, and it has a nice, good, I would say good uh, tobacco in the background but the, the tobacco is not the star of this one but it's not hollow at all, it's, it's like a groove in the background, uh, you get a, a good robust solid tobacco in the background, there's, there's no sort of a, a hole to fill anywhere, it's just a lot of taste. Um, it says it should have a little bit of a dried fruit taste, maybe there in the background as part of the of, of the uh, fullness of the taste, possibly. A little bit salty, but it really is about the whiskey and the cedar wood. Um, it kind of lands in a really tarry taste for me. It, uh, Swedish Match claims that, that it should have a tiny bit of tar, a hint of tar. There's no hint here. Uh, to me, it's a very tarry snooze, which I like. Uh, it's really robust, uh, really strong. It, it's a joy to open it. It feels like a treat every time you take one of these. So um, I'm quite sad that it's uh, the last one, but you know, I'll definitely get this one again. I, I'm really impressed. So as I said, tarry, smoky, uh, cedar, bright whiskey taste um, so I guess it's sort of peaty in, in that sense uh, but the, the tariness you could say like a tarry whiskey taste um, one that I really enjoy it's one of the better snoozes I have tried uh, you, you probably need to I don't know do you need to like whiskey to like this one I don't know I'm, I'm not a big whiskey fan and still I really enjoy this snooze for its robustness because it has a good solid Swedish match like Grove uh, <coughs> tobacco in the background, which is which is solid, so uh, beautiful stuff really. Um, can't fault it uh, on many levels. Um, and I will look at the uh, the loose version. Uh, that will be interesting. See if they sort of more focus on the blend with the tobacco there, because here it's it's mainly about rich and bold um, whiskey taste. Uh, one that's been really well implemented with still good tobacco. So yeah.
try it for sure. Uh, I really like it. I'm going to give this one an eight and a half out of 10. So that's in the five out of five range. See how the loose is. And also when I get the loose um, uh, crafted cardus, see how those compare because the crafted cardus is a single cut all lamina snooze. I don't think the Macmira is that. See if there is any difference there in taste and feel. So thank you guys for watching and uh, please subscribe if you like the videos uh, and I'll see you in the next review which will be the loose version of this.